In this video, we're going to continue working on the user form. We'll add a couple of buttons that will let the user add data to the database and a button to close the form. And we'll add a title at the top of the user form. We'll also start by lining up the text boxes. We've got four text boxes on here and their labels and they just look a bit raggedy so we'll line them up. To start I'm going to point to the top right of the form, press the left mouse button and as I drag it draws a rectangle that will select whatever I drag over. So I'm dragging over part at least of each of the text boxes and when I let go all four are selected. On the format menu, I'll choose align lefts. And now I'll do the same thing for the labels. I'll point to the top left, drag to make a rectangle that will touch each of them, and format align lefts. So now it looks a bit better, but it says user form one at the top. We're going to change that title. So I'll click on the form to select it and down in the property window we're going to change this caption. So here it says user form 1. I'm going to highlight that. And we're going to call this parts inventory. And press enter. So now you can see it as the caption and it's in the title bar at the top of the user form. Next we'll add buttons that the user will be able to click to make some code run and to do that, to make room, we'll just drag down to make the user form a bit longer. To add a button on the toolbar, click on the command button control and just click near the bottom left of the form and that adds a command button. I'm just going to move it up a little bit it gets a default label and name and it's command button 1. And we're going to change this label so this button we're going to come down and change the caption to add this part. So after a user puts information in the form, they'll be able to click this button and it will go into the Excel workbook. The name of that button right now is command button 1 and we're going to change that to CMD add and press enter. So now this button has the name command add and the caption add this part. We're going to add another button, so just click on the form so that we can see the toolbox. Click on the command button and just click to the right of the button you've already added. And this button we're going to call close, so CMD close. Whoops. and the caption will also say close and press enter. And you can make the buttons a little smaller by dragging. And now the buttons are there and in the next video we'll add code that makes them work.